Now we're going to do the second position of the heart balancing technique for the Shun Tao system. And we're going to do the same step as we did before. And this time, I'm going to use the same mudra, the holding water mudra. I'm going to step into this position, and I'm going to bring my hand into the half lotus position. Regular, natural, and then these two fingers come together. It'll take you a minute or two if you can get it, but it's very, very crucial to uh, this. But even if you just use a natural position, that's fine. Okay. Same bent arm. I bring it in slowly, almost like I'm scooping something up. And I'm going to point it right at heart two, which is like right in the middle of the uh, right in the middle of the arm between the elbow and the shoulder. You'll feel it because uh, it'll start pulsing with pain if it's if there's blockages there. And this gets nine breaths all by itself. So I breathe nine times, holding this position at about six inches from my arm. Then, after I've done my nine breaths, I close my fingers into the holding water mudra, and I turn it in from here to heart one, which is just on the lateral side of the pectoralis major muscle. So, or you can just kind of point under your armpit. Uh, either way, now, like right now, I'm getting very hot. Uh, this is a, these these techniques are extremely strong, and uh, I can feel my shoulder releasing, and so my shoulder must have been a little bit tight. Uh, by doing this uh, technique, uh, it releases your shoulder. And so after I've done my nine breaths here, then I will turn it back and slide it up and shake and break, just like I did before, cleaning out the meridian. So uh, I'm going to do it again without speaking. I'll do it on the right side this time so you can see it, and then I'll bring Matt out again, and I'll show him how to do it. Okay, so now with that, uh, we're going to do the second posture. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same step. I'll do right, you can do left. <clears throat> so you're going to step with your left foot out of 45, and we're going to go into the squared stance posture again. And as we're stepping, we're going to bring that hand up into the holding water position. And now we're going to bring this hand into the half lotus and we're going to bring it slowly into heart two, right here in the middle of the bicep. And your, your eyes are going to be straight ahead. And again, fingertips pointing straight ahead. And just, yeah, light loops, half lotus, pointing straight in. Heart of palm, center of palm, will point straight in at the bicep, right in the middle. And he'll start to get really warm as this is transpiring. And he'll go through nine breaths in this posture, just relaxing, breathing for nine breaths. After he's done his nine breaths, then he's going to come from here, and he's going to make the holding water position, and he's going to turn that into heart one, which would be right there on the side. And so it's slightly angled up into the armpit. There you go. Perfect. Very good. Eyes straight ahead, and he's going to breathe here nine times, and as soon as he's done breathing nine times in this direction, which he should be getting pretty close, and it's okay if you don't do exactly nine, too. Uh, that's just the recommended length of time to hold the posture. You can do more or less, and so don't get hung up on, was that seven breaths or eight breaths or what? If you feel it's time to stop, just stop, or if you want to keep going, that's fine, too. Just watch yourself and make sure you don't get dehydrated. Very important to make sure that you drink water. And I'll show you how to drink water properly a little bit later.
So now that he's had his at least nine breaths, now turn the turn the holding water mudra back and slide it up the outside or inside of the arm all the way out the pinky, cleaning out the heart meridian and shake and break. So uh, very simple to do, just takes a little bit of practice and that's what it's all about. You are getting the benefit if you're intending to practice it. It doesn't matter whether you're, you're perfect at it or not, okay? Even just the intent to practice it is getting the job done. Okay, you're getting as much as you need, I promise you. Because when you start getting these correct, uh, your body is really going to heat up. And if you're sick to start with, you can't handle that. So, you know, there's a reason you're not doing it as good as you want to do it. Your body will naturally just kind of fall into it, and you'll be able to do it much smoother and easier the stronger your internal organs get.